How's the king and fella Sam Otterson? This is another episode of Crash Bandicoot and in today's episode we are fighting Ripperoo. Another thing I have to mention about this let's play since I made it two years ago, I haven't really learned how to make my thumbnails look better. So the thumbnails you have for this let's play are very blurry as fuck and they are they are kind of ugly. Yeah, so to defeat Ripperoo you have to press the TNT boxes and get him to stand next to them. Get him to stand next to them. I like how they're the big TNT, like that's the only time I see a big TNT in this entire franchise. I don't think they've ever been brought back. There were big TNT crates in Mind Over Mutants, but I don't think they count. Because they were like... It's almost like they forgot that they existed in Crash 1 and they just invented their own big TNT boxes. It's kind of funny how like even though Crash Mind Over Mutants was so different, they still had like boxes laying around and everywhere. They look at Nitro, but they Mind Over Mutants did brought back the TNT crate. Fun, like in Crash of the Titans in Mind Over Mutants, you don't even fucking collect Wumpa fruits in the game, you collect something called Mojo. Which are like blue orbs and uh, you get to... There's like a meter that fills up and every time you level up Crash you unlock some new moves or upgrade to previously learned moves. For example, you have to upgrade Crash's spin ability in that one because he forgot how to do it I guess. And no, Crash of the Titans was no reboot, Path the Venter mentioned in both those games, so... Crash just like started to ditch his gloves, get some tribal tabs. I guess in 2007 that was probably still fucking cool to get tribal tab. Even though nowadays when I see somebody with a fucking tribal tab like all over their arm, I just kind of think about like, well, it used to be really fucking cool once. Once upon a time, they were probably considered to be the coolest motherfucker in the neighborhood. Also, why is the loading screen on like the, like a piece of bacon? Or is that meant to be some wooden shit? Looks like a piece of bacon to me. See? The bacon. My favorite level is the like, temple ones. Those are the best. They're so cool. Man, what a tricky jump. I'm the, so good though. Gotta get all the crates though. Damn. I was fucking certain I was gonna die. I love this level. I like how the pushy blocks don't kill you immediately when you touch them. They actually push you so you can kind of save yourself, I think. There's some lizards who seem to push you away when you spin into them, so that's cool. Floaty platforms that fall. There's these bats which are annoying as fuck, but if you manage to... There's a little tip because not everybody knows that, but... Whenever there's these bats on the screen flying around, there's two bats that kind of summon them, and if you get rid of both of the bats, then the bats will stop flying around. When I was a kid I didn't know that, I was just assuming that these bats are like unkillable and they're just part of like, a, like an obstacle you can't get rid of. So you just have to learn to live with it and avoid it. And Crash is meant to be a, such a dumb hair. Oh, I fucking missed it. Missed the fucking embryo face again. We'll never get to see what his levels are like. Fucking asshole. As a kid, I didn't know you can do that. Then I meant to say something different. What the fuck was I gonna say? I got distracted by embryo. I don't fucking know. Damn, that was close. This episode's pretty decently length. Length two, ten minutes. Yeah, so oh, I was talking about my thumbnails, so yeah, I took the thumbnails I made two years ago in a very... I don't know why the fuck, you know, looking back at it, like, I don't know why the fuck I made my thumbnails such low quality. They could they could have easily been higher quality. I didn't have to make them so shitty, it wasn't like I, it wasn't like I was restricted by something. I am restricted by the two megabytes uh, file size of YouTube because I don't have... I think you gotta get like 100,000 subscribers to get that, get rid of it. Thanks YouTube, and... Yeah, now I'm kinda working within, within the limitations of that. To be honest with you, I don't know if it's actually worth like, remaking these thumbnails, cause it's like, it's screenshots I took from the game. But the thing is, I... Oh, that's right. That's why they were such shitty quality. It's because the screenshots I took from the gameplay, 
I took using a uh, fucking Windows Movie Maker. That's what I edit my videos in, by the way. Because I don't really fucking know much about editing and that one is really easy to use. What's that sound? I didn't fucking press anything, did I? No, I did press something. Were those boxes in the background weren't there before? This guy's kind of interesting. He has like a pattern of jumping around. Not just jumping left and right or anything. It seems like he actually tries to jump towards me. That's kind of cool. Fucking missed one. I ain't gonna get an embryo level anyway. Fuck the lizard man. I'm gonna jump around. Speedruns of this game must look pretty fucking cool. Somebody who fucking memorized every single goddamn frame of the game. Oh, it's impressive. I don't like speedruns where it's like... Ah, oh, shit. I don't like speedruns where it's like people just breaking the game or doing some ridiculous fucking seemingly nonsensical things just for the game to fucking completely freak out and just like say that, oh, congratulations, you beat the game. I like speedruns where somebody genuinely goes through the game, like they don't use cheat codes, they don't use glitches, exploits, nothing like that. They just simply go through the fucking game as intended, just as fast as possible. Such as the San Andreas speedruns where it's like, there's like some glitches you gotta perform and then the game kinda skips, skips you ahead. And shit. But like, I would like to see a speedrun where somebody genuinely goes through all of the levels, I don't know why the fuck this appears to be something in my fucking way and I can't get through it. I, I don't fucking understand what the fuck's going on. Maybe that's one of those exploits I was talking about. I don't know why the fuck's gonna go through that before. Kind of weird. Got 28 lives. Doing pretty good. This game is known for being hard, but like, I don't fucking... Like, yeah, I'm not fucking flawlessly running through it and shit, but like, I'm not also struggling with it too much. Get a motherfucker. Oh, come the fuck go on, though. It's so stupid. That's just stupid. I physically cringed. This one, not so much. This one's just a strange pattern these blocks come in and out at. Pattern I apparently didn't fucking give a shit about, so I fell into my death again. What the fuck? I don't even know. I don't care. I don't want to know what happened. Son of a bitch. I ain't gonna recreate that weird glitch I just pulled. That was a speedrunner strategy. Get glitched between two blocks. Somehow. Fucking, I thought I would pull it off again. I don't really know how the fuck you're meant to do that. Does it have more patterns than just these two? That's ridiculous. Or maybe that's the way you're meant to do it. I don't know. Fucking did it my own way, because I'm independent. I'm a free thinker. Oh shizzles, I thought I was gonna fucking fall to my death. You can't trust your own fucking feet in this game, they all fuck you over. Bonus stage. Nice. It's really insanely fucking hot outside recently. Oh no, it's all made out of fucking boxes and I already fucked it up because this game's controls are fucking shit. When it comes to precise jumping, that is. It's just so fucking annoying to pull up because Crash seems to just... Like, you want to move it forward and then he kind of moves forward, but not, not too much. And then you end up with fucking, like, slipping off a box because you didn't move. Like... You either undershoot it or overshoot it, and it's just fucking annoying, man. See what I was talking about? You can see the castle in the background. We're creeping, creeping closer and closer to it. Soon we'll be right fucking there, and we'll be kicking Cortex's ass, which... I always thought Cortex's boss fight was quite difficult, but... I don't really know. I, f I don't know. I don't remember having difficulties with it in this game. I do remember having difficulties with it in the Insane Trilogy, maybe they made it harder, I don't know. Andrew's boss fight's pretty cool. Uh, Ripper Roo's boss fight was alright. Koala Kong's boss fight? I don't know, I think there's a reason why no one fucking cares about Koala Kong. They did burn him back in Nitro Fuel, which was, uh, speaking of Nitro Fuel, why did he broke on the road? Took the satisfaction of breaking boxes in this game from me, son of bitches. 
Nitro Fueled was one of my favorite fucking games of all time. I used to be in top like thousand players for a week. I played so fucking much when it came out. Because there were like these rankings. I guess I was also just on PlayStation because I guess they weren't they weren't like connected the PlayStation players with Xbox ones I guess. So for PlayStation I was in top thousand. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.